Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. Today, I'm gonna to be cutting this stuff up and starting the cold roof insulation. Izzy is playing her ball game. Let's see if I can catch her. She does it wherever she has a hill. She grabs her her blue ball and tosses it down the hill. Sometimes she runs with it and then tosses it ahead of her on flat ground and then catches it. But she'll drag it up and down or drag it up this hill over and over for who knows, an hour, hour and a half until she gets tired of it. She'll wrestle with it and then let it roll and then go catch it. Such a smart dog. Okay, so now what I need to do is cut these. First, I'm going to split them, not in half, but what I need is 14 inch wide slices. So I'm going to cut at like 28 and a quarter, split it that way to get them a more manageable size, roughly in half, but I'll get two out of out of that one piece. Then I'll get two and I'll leave the remainder as a wide piece. If I just cut it in half, I'll have two skinny remainders and they'll be useless. I could possibly use the wider piece. It'll be, I don't know, maybe five inches wide. So that's the plan. This, this stuff, believe it or not, the two inch is pretty hard to cut on the table saw. Hopefully I don't have too many problems with it. When we did the house, we found out that as you're, as you're cutting, it kind of melts into the foam and it wants to kick back. And it, it's surprisingly violent for this flimsy foam. We've had it, where if you're not really, if you don't really have control over the foam board, it'll jerk and uh, cut the hell out of, you know, make a, a swishy cut out of it. So, got that to look forward to. But first, I got to clear all this stuff off because I need a, you know, I'm going to be way up here with the fence. So that'll be fun. But before that, I have to cut that stack of clamps. And if you watched yesterday, this will go in the trusses and this part will press against the foam and this will screw into the top cords of the trusses so this will hold it up against the ceiling while the glue dries. The glue takes uh, about 24 hours to dry but in this temperature we have right around 40 today and then 40 degrees for a couple days after today. So we really got to get this done while the while the temperatures are even close to the correct temperature. So what I have here, I have this stack. I think I'll just cut all of them. The first they have to be cut to length. Then they need uh, the notches cut. Then I'll tackle this stuff. Okay, let's get this cleaned up and get to work.
Okay, I got all of my clamps cut. Now I gotta tackle this stuff. I am really not looking forward to it. I don't know, maybe I should move all this stuff out of the way, but once I have the fence over here, I have about as much room as I need. <sighs> yeah, I just wish this stuff wouldn't kick so much, and maybe it won't. Maybe it was just uh, the other type. The other foam that's behind the rest of the house is high density, and this is not, so I don't know. We'll see. Right after I got done cutting these things to length here, I went over to the addition to get something, and I ended up cleaning the area around there, cleaning by the greenhouse, cleaning in front of the house, and taking all that stuff out of the addition, or most of it. And what I have left, this, these are the parts that I took out of the addition, fixing it up, and got this stuff from laying around here. I gotta get this stuff over and burn it before it gets too late. But I should probably give this foam a shot. I mean, foam is super easy to cut. Just got to set up a roller stand. And I usually just set up a sawhorse out here because it bends so much. I just need something to catch it. It's not so heavy that you need something uh, for the weight. You just need something so it doesn't drop down to the ground. The only thing wrong with the foam, cutting the foam, is the tendency for it to melt around the blade and want to kick. But again, maybe this won't do it. Let's give it a shot. size these are all 14 inch these are cutoffs from the other part of the construction but the majority of the foam is 14 inches the space is 14 and a half on the standard 16 inch spaced studs and then on the side uh, what is it? One is a 12 and a half, and one is 13 and a half, I believe. So I could get all four of the foam pieces out of one board. And then these are the cutoffs. 
Don't know if I'll be using them in there or not, but I don't want to throw that away. It's expensive stuff. If it sits around too long, I'll throw it away though. So we're going to do two layers. So that stuff over there, which is left over from the main building, will go into the second layer as will some of this stuff and then the rest of it is all going to go around the building as ground insulation until we can get more dirt on that next spring. So I think that's going to wrap it up for today. It's already well, well past noon. I'm going to bring all of this stuff or the majority of it, bring it over I already brought over the the wood pieces and I will likely start on this stuff tonight. I'm not sure how much I'll show. If nothing else, I'll start tomorrow and make sure I film it. Yeah, I'll probably do that. Okay, so if you want to see that, make sure you're subscribed and you got notifications clicked on the little bell thingy. If you got any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And a thumbs up or a share would help the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.